Investors worldwide are drawn to the simplicity and potential of SIPs or systematic investment plans. In FY24 alone, we witnessed nearly rupees 2 lakh crore in SIP inflows, clocking in close to rupees 19,000 crore in monthly SIPs in the month of March 2024. So, going by those numbers, it would be safe to say that the phrase mutual fund sahi hai is what is ringing on everyone's mind. But there could be instances where our SIP investment might not yield the maximum benefit like you were expecting. So in this video, we try to point out the common mistakes investors make with SIPs. But before I list those out for you, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to moneycontrol.com. One of the most common mistakes is when your SIP target is not aligned with your goals. Many investors may set a fixed amount for their SIPs without adjusting it to their growing income. This can lead to a shortfall when funds are needed for specific goals or adjusting for lifestyle cost, which tend to rise while savings might remain stagnant. So, this could change by simply incorporating top-ups that can significantly enhance your savings potential. Take for example, if you have started an SIP of Rs 10,000 and have been regularly investing for over 15 years, you would end up with a corpus of Rs 56 lakh considering your extended internal rate of return would be around 14%. However, if you simply add 1,000 rupees per month, your invested amount goes up to Rs 30 lakh whereas an extended internal rate of return of 14.10% will be left with a whopping 84 lakh rupees. The point here is that people more often than not don't add top-ups and are left with lower returns. Another commonly made mistake is premature SIP exits and unexpected external headwind and you see markets crashing. It becomes instinctive to exit anticipating further losses. But if we were to consider the historical data, then it consistently shows the benefits of long-term investing. In fact, one can continue investing in SIPs or even increasing your investments despite the downturn. Now, let's bring your focus to the fence sitters. This could be people who choose to delay SIPs in hopes of catching the market bottom. But studies have revealed that timing the market often leads to missed opportunities and lower savings. Take for instance the recent COVID crisis. Those that started SIPs during the market bottom versus those that were invested during the peak barely showed any differences in returns, but you can significantly see the disparities in their total savings. Now, if you're also someone who is obsessed over SIP start dates and frequencies, in contrast to the popular belief, the day of the month or the frequency of SIPs has minimal impact on returns. What truly matters is consistency and discipline, research, plan and start without delay. All in all, while past performance does not guarantee future results, optimizing your SIPs involves aligning them with your goals, staying invested through market cycles and starting without delay. I hope you find this video useful and for more such updates, keep watching moneycontrol.com.